Welcome back to another video on the Zero DTE channel. Today we're going to talk about emotional discipline and how emotional discipline can be the structure of a true winning strategy. If you're interested in becoming a pro trader, please click the link in the description for a four week trial. Enjoy. The next thing I have here is maintaining emotional discipline. Uncertainty can trigger emotions like fear or greed. So even when things go your way, there's still that uncertainty of what's gonna happen. So that's why you need to prepare and decide in advance what you're going to do. Now, you don't always know under all circumstances what you're gonna do under every instance of time, right? So that's why you create the framework. That's why you log and journal your trades. And that's why you come up with the nuanced strategies and build up that experience over multiple different market contexts, different types of markets, and know that it's going to take some time before you build up that discipline, all right? And that's how you maintain your emotional discipline is that over time, you start building a greater degree of confidence in what you're doing and expertise in managing that framework. It's almost impossible when you start a new strategy strategy to instantly develop that confidence. It's not realistic. It's not realistic in virtually any endeavor you do in life, right? Anything that you start right from the very time that you were a baby and you started walking, that first step was, ah, right? <laughs> And then you take a few more steps, then it becomes easier and easier. It's the same way with trading. Trading obviously is extremely complex from a mental faculty. So you need to have a way of framing that so that you can easily create a delineation, easy way to sort of segment and categorize all of your trades so that you can remember what to do or act in a, an appropriate way. And that's something that just happens over time. If you have a framework that might have say 10 different possible outcomes, well, then you have to become familiar with all those 10 possible outcomes and all the nuances surrounding those. You can't expect to learn all that on your first trade. Your first trade might only cover one or maybe two of those different outcomes. Your second trade might cover a completely different one. After maybe 30, 40, 100, 200, 500 trades, now you start developing enough experience with that framework that you can now start trading with extreme confidence. And that's why it takes time in order to build up that level of consistency, because now you're acting in a consistent manner because you've been through this particular scenario a dozen times or two dozen times or a hundred times or even just a few times at least. And that's what will allow you to contain or maintain your emotional discipline. Confidence breeds discipline for sure. Be flexible. Be ready to adapt your strategy as market conditions change. If the market moves against your position, be prepared to cut your losses and move on. Now, in terms of market conditions, that's another thing. When we first started this service during 2021, the market was going straight up. That was a very different time. The market was living off of the fuel of the Federal Reserve's accommodative monetary policy. It was like free money and everything just went up and then you bought the dip. So that was one type of market. And that's one way we had to learn to trade. 2022 came around and all of that went out the window and it became a bear market. And now things were in chaos. We couldn't apply the same kind of knowledge that we had acquired during the 2021 market. We had to relearn and adapt and be flexible with our strategy so that we could figure out, well, how do we apply it here? And over time, we were able to adapt and be able to do that. And then halfway or three quarters of the way through 2022, then into 2023, we started to turn into this consolidating market going sideways. Again, lots of range bound days, some, you know, up and down and finally coming to a, a point actually where we're at right now. And that presented a whole different way that we had to approach the market. Now we're presented with what looks to be coming. And that is a melt up that might be followed by a recession. So there's two other different types of markets that we know will be coming. We need to have a strategy that is flexible enough to move with those different market conditions and changes in the market. And on top of that, like I said before, we need to have that framework that we can apply it and learn how we're going to react with that underlying market condition as the thing that's doing that to you. And through all that, you have to keep on learning. The more knowledge and skills that you require, the better you'll handle this uncertainty. And that's what I was talking about, the confidence. It's knowledge in a, a number of different ways. It's intellectual knowledge, book knowledge, situational awareness. It is muscle memory. It is the skill that you develop with your trading platform and the government, that particular index, economic indicators. All of these things will aid in your overall nuanced understanding of how you're going to act. So that's a never ending journey and it itself is always constantly changing. If you've enjoyed today's video, please click the like button below. If you like the content, make sure you click the subscribe button and we'll see you next time, guys.